Every life begins as a quiet collision, a meeting so small it happens in the space of a breath, yet strong enough to ignite creation. Inside the human body, one sperm among 300 million begins its journey through darkness and motion. Guided by chemistry, driven by instinct, it swims through the cervix, across the uterus, into the glowing tunnels of the fallopian tubes. Waiting there, patient and still, is an egg, the largest cell in the human body. It holds ancestry, architecture, and infinite potential. Their meeting is not instant. The sperm must fight through layers of protection, shed its coat, and fuse with the egg in a spark of biochemical light. In that instant, two cells merge, and a new code of life, completely unique, is born. This is fertilization, the first miracle. Yet the story is only beginning. The zygote must divide, grow, and find a home in the mother's womb, a landscape that could reject it as foreign. How does a microscopic cluster of cells find belonging inside another body? And how does that body transform to accept it? Let's go inside to witness the silent beginning of us all. Before life can begin, two separate worlds must prepare themselves in perfect synchrony without ever knowing the other exists. Life doesn't begin with birth, it begins in motion, a series of microscopic events that unfold with breathtaking precision. Each month, deep inside the ovary, dozens of follicles awaken under the pull of hormones, but only one completes the journey, swelling, ripening, and releasing a single egg. Ovulation isn't a drop, it's a timed symphony between brain and body. Signals from the hypothalamus and pituitary rupture the follicle, sending the egg into the fallopian tube, where gentle cilia guide it forward. Meanwhile, in another body, an equal story unfolds. During arousal, the testes, prostate and seminal vesicles work together to release semen, carrying hundreds of millions of sperm, each armed for the impossible. Inside the female tract, they face trials of acid, narrow gates, and distance. Only a few thousand survive the first hour. Drawn by chemical cues from the egg, a process called chemotaxis, the survivors swim upstream, a journey equal to a human crossing an ocean. In the ampulla, the egg waits within its glowing shell, the zona pellucida. When one sperm reaches it, Enzymes from its acrosome dissolve the layer, and upon fusion, the egg seals itself. Two nuclei drift, then merge. 23 chromosomes from each parent forming a new genome. One cell becomes two, then four, then eight. By the time it exits the tube, it is a blastocyst, a hollow sphere carrying destiny itself. But its next step is the hardest, to implant within the uterus and persuade the mother's body to accept, not attack. The days ahead will decide everything. What happens in the days after fertilization is far more dramatic and far more fragile than the moment the sperm meets the egg. The zygote drifts gently down the tube, moved by the rhythm of cilia. With each division, it changes. By day three, a morula of 16 cells. By day five, a blastocyst, a hollow sphere with a story within. The inner cell mass will form the embryo. The outer trophoblast will become the placenta, the bridge between mother and child. Meanwhile, under progesterone's influence, the uterine lining transforms, softening, thickening, filling with nutrients. This synchronization is fragile. If the embryo arrives too soon or too late, implantation fails. Around day six, the blastocyst reaches the uterus and pauses, sensing biochemical signals. Then, like a seed meeting soil, it begins to attach. 
Trophoblast cells release enzymes that gently dissolve the uterine surface, allowing the embryo to nestle in. But this is no invasion, it's communication. The mother's immune system, instead of attacking, adapts. Guided by cytokines and the rising hormone HCG, immune cells shift from defense to protection. HCG whispers to the ovary, keep producing progesterone, new life depends on it. As the blastocyst burrows deeper, capillaries open and wrap around it. Tiny villi sprout, the beginnings of a placenta. From this point, two lives merge into one system, two genomes sharing one chemistry, one heartbeat of biology. The embryo now guides hormones, shapes immunity, and alters metabolism to sustain itself. In this silent exchange of signals and blood, existence becomes partnership. Deep in the womb's darkness, a cluster of cells has found its home, crossing the line from chance to continuation. Part four, climax. Approximately 440 words. Here is the moment almost no one ever sees, when the embryo disappears into the womb and two lives begin to merge into one. Hidden beneath the endometrium, the embryo disappears from sight as an extraordinary dialogue begins. The trophoblast divides into two forms, the structured cytotrophoblast and the spreading syncytiotrophoblast, which fuses with maternal tissue, weaving the first roots of connection. Maternal blood fills new channels around the embryo. The placenta is born, an organ of two origins, belonging to both and to neither. Oxygen and nutrients cross one way, carbon dioxide and waste the other, a living exchange. Before the placenta can sustain life, one crucial signal must hold the balance, HCG, secreted by trophoblast cells, travels through the bloodstream to the ovary, commanding the corpus luteum to persist, to keep releasing progesterone, to keep the womb alive menstruation halts. The mother may not yet know, but her cells already obey new instructions. Her immune system softens, her chemistry shifts. Within the embryo, the inner cell mass flattens into an embryonic disc, the first blueprint of a body, a head, a spine, a heart waiting to beat. In less than two weeks, Two cells have become one living connection, an ecosystem of blood, chemistry, and trust. In this moment, mother and child are no longer separate. They are a single living rhythm. And if we could listen close enough, within that rhythm, we'd hear the faintest future. Not yet a heartbeat, but already the song of life. Part five. Reflection, approximately 450 words. If two cells can create an entirely new universe of consciousness, what does that say about the miracle hidden inside every one of us? Before the first cry or breath, life begins in silence. Two cells colliding in darkness to create something the universe has never known. The process seems mechanical, Sperm meets egg, divides, implants, grows. But within it lies the sacred. From this moment, one body carries two rhythms. Every hormone, every breath, becomes part of a wordless conversation. The embryo is no longer a guest. It conducts its host's chemistry, shaping immunity, emotion and care. It's the most intimate collaboration in nature, two beings who have never met, yet already depend on each other. Science can map every molecule, but cannot explain the wonder of when biology becomes belonging. Implantation is not just attachment, it's trust at the cellular level. The body's way of saying, I will make room for you. From here on, 
Every dividing cell carries memory of safety, of acceptance, of being home. Perhaps that's why we still seek warmth and heartbeat, echoes of that first shelter. Life's beginning isn't thunder, it's harmony, chemistry choosing order over chaos, and in that gentleness lies strength, the power to begin again. Fertilization and implantation are not just biology. They are the poetry of existence. The instant when possibility becomes presence and chance becomes purpose. Deep within the mother's body, the universe quietly builds another version of itself. If this journey moved you, stay with us. Subscribe to explore more hidden stories of the body, from the first heartbeat to the final breath, from cells to consciousness. Because here, we don't just explain biology, we tell the story of being alive.